Brian Krebs uh, covered a story that came out of the Talos team. Their, uh, Cisco created a group called Talos Intelligence. And these guys, the, the Cisco team, took a look at a train. Train is a very well-known high-end HVAC, uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Oh, yeah, T-R-A-N-E, yeah. T-R-A-N-E, exactly. But I think I had train equipment on my roof of the building that, oh, I, yeah, that I built years ago. Uh, yeah, because it's high-end industrial, although this is a consumer product because it shows you photos of your family <laughs> on the color LCD. Anyway, so I'll just I'll just share this real quickly. Uh, uh, Brian wrote before, and I'm paraphrasing this, before, before purchasing an Internet of Things device, a thermostat, camera, or appliance made to be remotely accessed and or controlled over the Internet, consider whether you can realistically care for and feed the security needs of yet another IOT thing. In April 2014, so this is a little, this is dated, although it took Train a long time to respond. Researchers at Cisco alerted HVAC vendor Train about three separate critical vulnerabilities in their Comfort Link 2 line of internet connected thermostats. These thermostats feature large color LCD screens and a busy box based computer that connects directly to your wireless network, allowing the device to display not just the temperature in your home, but also personal photo collections, the local weather forecast, and live weather radar maps, among other things. Cisco researchers found that the Comfort Link devices allow attackers to gain remote access and also use these devices as a jumping off point to access the rest of of a user's network. And this is like the nightmare scenario. This is the worst as it, as it could possibly be. Train has not yet responded to requests for comment. One big problem is that the Comfort Link thermostats come with credentials. Everyone sitting down, hold the steering wheel tightly and focus on the road. <laughs> Comfort Link thermostats come with credentials that have hard-coded passwords and, by default, the accounts can be used to remotely log in to the system over SSH. <sighs> well, that's so, comforting. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, what a comforting link. What a link. comfort. Uh, so, and then the two other bugs that Cisco reported to train would allow attackers to, wait for it, install their own malicious software on vulnerable on these vulnerable train devices oh, man and use those systems to maintain a persistent presence in the victim's local network so wow. the lesson here is there there cannot be any question but that we need an isolated internet of things network it, it, it's unfortunate, but it just, you cannot let this stuff, which is going to have all kinds of bells and whistles and be reaching out to remote web servers, thus opening up ports through your router in order to be contacted. You cannot let that stuff touch your main network. It, we, we'd have to have isolation. And what I'm hoping, as I mentioned, is that the, the whole three router solution, uh, while it's simple and clean and robust, I'm hoping it's a stopgap and that we will shortly have um, our, our standard consumer NAT router vendors offering, explicitly offering network isolation for Internet of Things as a feature. That is, first of all, providing true isolation technology, not, not just saying it, but really doing it and, and making it easy to set up where you simply, I mean, it's, it should be easy. For the, for the end user, it would be as easy as two different passwords 
and you give your IoT things this password, you give your other network things that password, and and by using different authentication, they are automatically on segmented uh, yeah. networks that have no visibility of, of any kind to each other. Totally doable, just that easily, and that we need that from from router vendors or or maybe from third party firmware. Uh, you know, alternative firmware sources. But boy, I mean, no. Uh, anyway, I, I thank Brian for bringing that uh, Cisco research from their Talos group to our attention because it's it's exactly typical. And this is tip of the iceberg. It's just the problem is that all you know, everybody wants to get in on this IoT phenomenon and 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 have fun with it. And the problem is that. Uh, security is not their focus. It's selling, you know, putting things in in bubble packs on J hooks in stores and saying, "Oh, look, you know, here's, you know, uh, you know, stick this in your refrigerator, uh, you know, screw this into your light bulb socket, and so forth." And they and and look at all the fancy things you can do, but security will just be a a second thought. 